Okay, so welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we're continuing our Division 1 season that we started with Roma in the previous video. And we're gonna continue with Atalanta. And they have a couple of players in good form. They have three players in good form. And I think the team is overall very good. So I want to try them out. And uh, we're gonna do as we usually do. We're gonna start by taking a look at the tactics. We're gonna use the default tactics and default starting 11. So let's jump into it. And as you saw in the first screen, they are playing a 3-4-1-2. So the defensive style is going to be press after possession loss with a 40 width, a 70 depth. We're going to use fast buildup with forward runs and a 60 width. So there is a huge difference in the defensive width and the offensive width, which is going to be interesting to see how that is going to work. But overall, this team, obviously, they have a really high press high defensive line at 70 that is going to be a little bit interesting as well really depends who we are facing if that is going to work out or not players in the box is going to be five corners and free kicks three let's jump into online seasons and uh get started so let's do like a quick summary before uh, we start playing if you didn't watch the previous video or if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos we are currently in division one we have played three matches with Roma, we have five points. We are going to need how many points for things here? Okay, so we need nine more points to avoid relegation. So basically three more wins. And we need another 18 points to promote, which basically means uh, six wins, right? And we have seven matches remaining. So a little super tiny margin of error. And uh, I'm going to play three matches with Atalanta. I think we're facing uh, Porto right here. Okay, so Atalanta is a team that a lot of people were using back in PES. But obviously they've changed a lot of players since then. If you take a look at the starting 11, there are a lot of changes from that uh, OP team that they had in PES 21. It's going to be interesting to see how Lukman plays. I, mean, I think Lukman and Murien are going to be the key players here. Pasalic is also going to be important. The wingers are not all that crazy, the wingbacks. I feel like they are very ordinary, so I think we, we just need to rely a lot on the forwards and individualism, I think. Basically try some, uh, some combinations and uh, do some dribbles, I guess. Oh, this is a huge problem. Wow. That is a stupid mistake. I give the ball away pretty much off the kickoff. Okay, so we are playing with a... Was it like a 60 width on offense? So I guess we're going to try to use the, uh, the width and the wingers. There we go. Oh, this is a problem. Wow. This defense is going to cause me so much headache.
I haven't played in two days, so I might be a little bit rusty. And what's the point of having Taremi out there? No, 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 no. <laughs> what? No idea what I was trying there. But I accidentally pressed, pressed the shooting button. Oh my god, it is scores here after I waste that chance. No, man. No, man. <laughs> See what I mean? We're a little bit rusty. First of all, I I mess up that Lookman chance I had by pressing shoot, and then I just mess up in the defense there. I should have just cleared it probably, but you know, I'm not gonna clear the ball. I'm gonna play my way out, right? What am I doing here? Oh my god! I swear, what the hell am I doing? That is just insane, man. I mean, this guy, is, he is good, but he's a little bit too arrogant, I feel like. He's doing a little bit too much of, uh, of flare passes, he's messing around too much. He's basically allowing me to stay in the game, instead of just scoring four goals immediately. And that could hurt him in the end. No. I had three guys on the cut back there. See what I mean? He's doing this like stupid place like this instead of just attacking and scoring. If I beat this guy, it's gonna be a sweet win. Oh, careful. That is. Oh my god, the scripting. I mean, he should have scored probably four goals just from his chances and the way he, he can control the attacks against my defense. He has a 2.4 expected goals, but let's be honest, if he was actually attacking and finishes, like finishing his attacks instead of messing around with the dribbling, 
it would probably create enough chances to score four goals. I need to lose the rust here and just score a couple of quick goals. See if we can rattle, rattle him a little bit, if we take the lead. Oh my god, man. That is so bad. This extraordinarily bad, man. It's so bad. Give me a break, man. No. <sighs> I'm not going to change the tactics because p part of the, the point of doing this uh, kind of gameplay video is playing with the default tactics to see if you can actually succeed with it. But as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this high defensive line is going to kill me. And it has. Also with the mistakes I'm doing, of course. Let's see if we can catch a break here and score on the counter. Ah, it takes too long. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. This defensive line is, oh, I mean, if you get beaten, if your midfield is beaten and they just play their way through, you have no chance. This might be the worst defense I've ever played with in any game. Like, no joke. Including Pez. <sighs> I should probably rage quit right here, but... Stubborn as I am, I'm not gonna do it. He has his goalie at the midway line. And I still can't do anything. What? Oh, 
come on man it's probably just my passing that is off from being rusty but holy shit so many shit passes I'm doing No. How are Atalanta getting away with having this slow of a defense and playing this high with their defensive line in real life? That is just cr oh my god. Look at these passes, man. I have Oh my god. This defense is uh I'm gonna stop complaining now because I, I realize it's uh pain in the ass to listen to someone complain for twenty minutes. But I mean, it's gonna take a while to get used to playing with this team. I mean, three matches, no way I'm gonna win, win a single match with this team. No shot. Absolutely no shot. With the way the passing was working in offense, co in combination with the defense, it's horrible. If you do one bad pass in midfield, He's going to do two passes up the middle and he's through the defense. Like without any... Without any difficulty at all. The most frustrating part about that first match was he wasn't even trying. You know what I mean? He was doing the absolute bare minimum and he could have beat me 10-0. No, no, no. It's lagging. We have some serious input lag here. Hey! Hey! Everything is super slow because of the input lag, so I have to try to keep it simple.
The worst thing about the input lags, especially in FIFA, I mean, the past it was bad to have input lag. But the problem with input lag in FIFA is your defenders move more than they did in uh, in PES. So it's gonna take longer for them to, to recover from a bad move, a bad movement, to change direction, especially in defense, that is super difficult, huge disadvantage. Oh my god, this defense, man. That is crazy. Oh my, look at this. I guess if you haven't played this yourself with this kind of lag, you don't know how it feels like, but it's... I wish this wasn't like Division 1 and, and a game that actually mattered for something. If this was a friendly, okay, you know. But this actually will have huge consequence for my, for my Division 1. Title run, right? Three against two. Three against two. No. I have a three against two up the middle and I pass it wrong. Let's go. No, Tomoe, fuck. Hey! Yellow card. This guy is actually playing the AC Milan B team. With Tomori, of course. That's the only starter, I think. And Leao as well. I'm scoring some like simple goals, simple tap-ins. Uh, I'm not able to do anything special with this kind of input lag, so there's not going to be any nice football in this match. 
I just have to survive. I need to get the points. I need to get the win for whatever whatever it takes. So apologies for the shitty gameplay. At least I'm scoring goals because I can score them. And not because he's gifting them to me like in the previous match. Where I scored all goals I scored in the previous match was because my opponent was uh, messing around with the goalie coming off his line. No! That's offside. I'm terrified about this defense. How bad is this defense? How is it actually possible to concede that goal? Where is the defense? This is gonna give me nightmares. Oh, of course, hit the teammate in his ass. Because why not? <sighs> wow. Can't believe I actually won that ball. Oh, he should have passed it into the middle there. He made a mistake there. Side? Wow. Three against two again. Three against two. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Come on. No, oh, I fucked up. I fucked it up. Calvini, bro, come on. And something I didn't mention earlier, but you, you might have noticed in the beginning of the stream, if you, to, if you took a look at the lineup, we have Scalvini in the defense. This guy is rated like, like around 70 or something, like 74, 72. Something really low. Wake up! We're in the big leagues, bro. Nah. Do we have anyone on the bench? We actually have Zapata on the bench. else do we have on the bench? Emerson, midfielder, never heard of him. Okoli, Soppi, Demiral. 
Bogar and Sportiello. Okay, I guess... Uh, let's try Demiral here. Uh, Boga as well, I guess. Might be decent. He has like six against my three defenders. <laughs> Literally a six on three counter. What the hell did I just witness? Keep calm and press square, bro. Jesus, man. Even if I, I'm pressing square to, to, to clear the ball, the clearances are absolutely atrocious. No. Hey. Okay, we win the match. At least we win it. Okay, so we climb to eight points. We still need six more points to secure uh, secure our spot, and then we're gonna need another fifteen. And we have five games remaining. So the fifteen is for the title. I really doubt we're gonna get the title. However, it's gonna be the last game with Atalanta, and then I'll do another team for the final four. So we might actually be able to do it if I pick a team that has good defense, like a good foundation. If I'm lucky with the tactics of the team I'm choosing, we might be able to do it still. So let's jump into the third and final game with Atalanta. Okay, so the third and final game is against the Gunners. Of Toloi against Martinelli is gonna be a huge problem. He scored from there, man. Oof. I guess th that was his only option. I was cutting off the cu the cutback pass. No, I'm not catching any breaks today. That is for sure.
Come on, come on, come on. Offside. Oh my god. I have to say one thing, and that is, this Atalanta team is so slow. It feels so slow. They are so big and physical, but so slow. Am I expecting too much for Martin de Roon to hit that pass properly? I mean, who am I gonna pass it with? If I don't do it with de Roon, he's like... One of the best midfielders on the team, probably. Simple pass. Yeah. That pass is bad, though. It's a bad decision by me. Left foot, Rafael Toloi there. No chance. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Press, 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 press!
Get a shitty pass by me. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on. Don't defend. Don't, 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 don't. No! Scalvini! I'm gonna get literal nightmares from playing with this team. Okay. The game is gonna let us finish this attack right here, so let's make it count. Pasalic! No way! I was in front of him! No. No, man. No. No, man, no.
So promotion is going to be out of the window right here. Uh, it's going to be all about survival unless we manage to get some insane comeback right here at the end. We're going to give it a try. We're going to do the same substitutions as I made in the previous one. Zapata, Boga and Demiral. What else do we have? I don't feel like we have that many options. I think that was the chance. That was the chance I had. I think one of the problems, we don't have any press on the ball carrier. The distance is too big from the defender to the ball carrier. We have to run for like 5 seconds to even get close to the guy with the ball. And when he's getting these kind of insane tackle passes, what am I supposed to do? I should have passed it to Muriel there. It was wide, wide open running through. You see the difference as well from his defending to my defending? I'm always a bit late and he's always blocking the passing lane or blocking the, like the shooting lane. Sticking a foot out. Oh. I mean, the chance I had to get back in, in this match was that chance I missed. When I said that, that was my chance. Come on. Okay, so this Atalanta experiment is gonna end with a loss. At least I would say we're lucky enough to pick up a win from this. Because this was an absolute horrible experience. Okay, so with four matches remaining in Division 1, we are still at 8 points. We're going to complete the season with another team. So we're going to need two wins in four matches to survive. And I think depending on the team we choose, that should be definitely something that we should be, be able to accomplish. But to summarize the Atalanta gameplay, I think um, you have to be really, really good. Much better than me at playing FIFA to be able to, to succeed with this team and the default uh, tactics they are using. I mean, this high defensive line, so difficult to defend, especially when you lose the ball in the build-up. Okay, so, so this is the thing. Uh, the attacking instructions were fast build-up with forward runs, and you know what that means. 
That means that your midfielders are going to push way up, your forwards are going to be way up there. So when you build from the back, unless you are spotless and perfect in your build-up and your passes and you don't lose the ball, you're going to have a bad time on counters against because you're going to have so many players up front. In combination with this team being super slow, their entire midfield is very slow. The defenders are very slow. It's like a cocktail of trouble, this team. Like the attacking instructions, the defensive instructions, the way the team is built. Uh, it's going to be super difficult unless you score five goals, basically. You need to score f at least five goals to be able to win matches with this team. Which I think you could definitely do if you're extremely good. But uh, I was not that good. So I lose two of three. What do you think about the gameplay? What do you think about the team? What are your thoughts about it? Let me know in the comments. And we're going to continue in the next video. Completing the season. See if we can survive Division 1. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care until the next one. See you guys.